hey, it's Berta J. And you're back in my kitchen with me today to learn how to make crock pot apple butter. It's delicious. This recipe was adapted from one of the troopers named Anahid Kasabian. And I'll show you what I do. The first thing you do is peel your apples. After you peel them, you will have to cut them in half and de-seed them. If you do this an assembly line approach with all these apples, it'll make it much easier. First peel, then cut in half, then cut in quarters, and then get rid of the seed casing. Now I also dip in water to get rid of all of the little black pieces that come from the stem. And now you're gonna take each one of those quarter pieces and you're gonna cut them into little chunks. You should use about five pounds of apples, three to five pounds of apples, which will equal 14 cups. Once they're all cut into chunks, put them in your crock pot. Now your crock pot's got a whole 14 cups of apple. Now pour out your liquid. I use apple cider, a cup and a quarter. Pour that in. Pour in one and a quarter cups of water. This will keep your apple butter from being like really super, super sweet. You're gonna cook your apples for a 24 hour period. When you start during the day, you turn your temperature to high and cook it on high all day long. Before you go to bed, turn it down to low. And then when you wake up in the morning, turn it back to high. It'll give your apples a chance to reduce and they'll become sweeter. Stir occasionally when you're awake. After you've cooked your apples overnight in the crock pot, this is what you'll have. It'll be very thick. You're gonna take the apple butter that's in your crock pot and put it in either a blender or your food processor whichever one you've got. And that's when it turns into the very smooth and delicious thick apple butter. Clamp your top on and you're gonna watch it turn a lighter color down at the bottom. You're now done. Take your plunger out Mm, this is very tempting. I'm gonna let you see what I usually do. Oh, it is so good. Two washed out salsa jars. And you are gonna now take this apple butter and spoon it in here. You are gonna eat it on French toast, pancakes, waffles, biscuits, toast. I don't know if you would put it in the freezer, but I guess it would freeze. I love apple butter. Always loved apple butter. And these two containers will be gone very quickly. But I'll try freezing it and then I can tell you. That's it. You have two 16 ounce jars of apple butter. Could freeze it if you'd like. I've never done that, but you can try it. And it's delicious. You use it. I guess I really want to taste it. How's that? It's delicious. And that's really the end of the video. Um, the rest of this I'm gonna put in a smaller container because you know I gotta clean this up. And you have a little bit more than 32 ounces, maybe 34 ounces, because that's about two ounces left. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell so that every time a new video is uploaded, you will get the notification. And don't forget to leave me comments below. And don't forget to try this. I've loved apple butter since I was a tiny girl, about four or five years old. And so I'm so thankful I know how to make it now myself. And you will too, if you try this recipe. Okay? So until next time, bye for now.